My son and I moved in here on October 3rd. On Friday, Jamie Visaya says she went down to check her mailbox. There was about nine voter registration ballots that were not mine. So I thought that was strange. So I ended up returning them to the post office here. But to her surprise, again last night, there was another stack in there. This time, seven different ballots. Long name Mohammed. Um, last name Mus Mustafa. She only lives in a two bedroom apartment. Most of the ballots are addressed to different last names, but all have one thing in common, her unit number. Management said no one's lived here for three months. Maybe the people who were registered at her apartment before didn't update their address through USPS when they moved, but still Visaya wonders. Why didn't I get all of their other mail forwarded here or junk mail or anything like that? We got her on a call with King County Elections Chief of Staff Kendall Hodson. In 30 years of voting, I've never had that many um, yeah, ballots that don't belong to me, you know. She told King 5 they have daily calls with the USPS, so they're planning on raising this issue to them. Would you be all right with our folks coming to pick them up from you? That's going to be probably the easiest way for us to sort it out. Hodson also told us, quote, even if someone gets a second ballot or more, whether under their name or someone else's, we'll only ever count one ballot per registered voter with their matching signature. Are you going to make sure that it gets expedited to the recipients. We need to get them a replacement belt. We'll get that out. If we need to, you know, update their registration to a different address, we'll do that as well. Time is of the essence here. For those mailing a ballot in, the Secretary of State's office recommends you get it in the mail by tonight, as it's now a week until Election Day. However, mail-in ballots postmarked by November 5th will be accepted, and you can still use a Dropbox or vote in person. I'm Maddie White. Greg, back to you.